Hi everyone and welcome back to Interview Chronicles Season 3. Today we have Ashwin here with us who has been recently placed at Caterpillar as a part of his campus placements at VIT. He is here to share his interview experience with us today. But before we talk to him, let's look at the eligibility criteria for this company. So all students of BTEC, CSC, IT and ECM branches were eligible provided they had an 85% or an 8.5 CGPA in 10th, 12th as well as in their pursuing degree with no standing arrears. So now let's go ahead and talk to Ashwin and understand his experience of how he interviewed with this company. And congratulations on your placement. So would you like to introduce yourself first? Thank you. Yep, uh, I'm Ashwin Santosh Nair and I'm from Bangalore. Right now I'm currently studying in Chennai. I go to VIT Chennai and uh, I'm doing my final year uh, in engineering uh, for this uh, electronics and computer uh, branch. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much about myself. Okay, okay, that's great. Thank you. Yeah. Um, you can now tell us about the placement process, like how many rounds were there and what they comprised of? Yeah, so I got placed in Caterpillar to start off and uh, the rounds were basically there were two um, I mean assessment rounds okay. online and uh, the first one was uh, aptitude and uh, English uh, mm -hmm. I believe the, so so we, we had to finish that uh, I don't re exactly remember the duration but we had to uh, finish aptitude and uh, English uh, along those lines. Okay. We had comprehension stuff from English and mm -hmm. basic aptitude and math questions. Okay. So people who get shortlisted from that uh, are progressed to the next round, which is the coding round. Right. Coding round is pretty simple because uh, it consisted of basic uh, array questions. And there were two questions okay. and uh, you had to, uh, it was on the SHL platform and uh, mm -hmm. I had to finish within it was a 45 minute test, I believe. Okay. And I finished. Uh, so the faster you finish, the more chances you have of getting shortlisted. Mm -hmm. So pass all test cases and move on uh, to the next question. And okay. uh, that's pretty much what I did for the coding test. Mm -hmm. uh, moving on from there, um, I think the number was cut down to half okay. uh, for the interview shortlist. So I had to go to Velour for okay. the interview. Mm -hmm. The Velour campus, uh, just like everyone else, right. and uh, so firstly we had a GD. We had a huge number, a huge uh, shortlist. So we had to, I think they had to eliminate through GD. Okay. So we had a group discussion, and uh, so group discussion is basically uh, you sit in a round table and they give you a topic. You just right. have to discuss, and uh, they're just testing you on your. Uh, ability to communicate in a team and uh, work well in a team and hmm. all of that and, and not a debate per se. Right. So you've, uh, they gave us like five minutes to prepare whatever thoughts we have to jot down on a paper mm -hmm. or whatever we had, uh, we had to carry our pens of course. Yeah. And um, so you start the conversation and you just keep, keep it going, keep it flowing and uh, that's pretty much how the GD went. Okay. From there, I think the shortlist was continuously released in rounds in okay. like uh, first first round. Uh, I mean, first set of people went for interviews. Second set of people went for interviews. Mm. It was pretty much like that. Okay. And uh, so, yeah, I was waiting for the results and then my results popped up in the tech interview. Right. Um, so I was getting all ready for the tech interview. So the people who took my GD there were two people, the hmm. panel who took the GD, hmm. same people came for the interview. Okay. And uh, since, so when I went for the interview, uh, since I'm from an electronics and computer background, they asked me why electronics and computer, hmm. uh, the first thing. Hmm. And uh, I had a couple of electronics projects and development projects, web dev, app dev. Right. So on my resume, so the first, I think three or four minutes, they, they were looking at my resume and mm -hmm. just... Uh, probably head to toe just going through the entire resume and scanning it okay. and uh, yeah so after that they asked me why electronics and computer and mm -hmm. then they moved on to projects mm -hmm. individual projects and then every project had a particular skill associated with it for okay. example um, an embedded system project project or some iot project had some skill associated with it so they'd ask me to write a pseudocode for example uh, for some uh, 
I think they asked me to write a pseudo code for an embedded C uh, okay. program. Hmm. And uh, moving on, then they asked me to. Uh, then they went to the development part of my resume and they started uh, asking me questions on that. They asked me questions on hmm. Node.js, MongoDB, okay. React.js, and uh, pretty much the entire Mern stack. Okay. And a little bit of DBMS, hmm. uh, SQL questions, and all of that. And uh, they asked me to write pseudo codes for a uh, couple of uh, C++ programs and uh, Node.js functions, JavaScript right. functions, and all of that. Mm-hmm. Uh, so after that, I think uh, they asked me to. Uh, they asked me uh, what else did they ask? Yeah, that's uh, pretty much about the resume. After mm-hmm. that, um, I think that's all they wanted to know about my skills as a whole hmm. and uh, they asked me uh, to add on they asked me questions a little bit from networks hmm. and uh, operating systems as well okay so that's pretty much about it hmm. it was sort of uh, scary okay. um, the interview process was okay it was good to talk to hmm. them and all it was they were, they seemed pretty knowledgeable in whatever fields they were working in and hmm. Uh, I was sort of intimidated at first because okay. uh, when people that knowledgeable sit across you, hmm. it's sort of uh, intimidating at first. Yeah. So yeah, it was pretty much okay and okay, a good experience actually hmm. um, to be put under that kind of circumstance to talk to people hmm. that knowledgeable and to gain insights from them as well. Hmm. So yeah, that's about it. Okay. And then uh, there was no HR round. Hmm. Uh, I think the technical round was end because it was getting late. So okay. they called me and then they mentioned that it was an internship plus full time okay. offer that's and uh, they told okay. me that I was selected. Okay, that's great. Yeah. Congratulations again. And Thank you. Yeah. So uh, finally, how many people were selected? Do you remember that? Um, I think the initial list they released... 25 to 28 okay. people, I think, I'm not sure. And I think they released an additional list with two people. Or something. Okay. okay, okay, that's great. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Thank you for sharing your experience. Uh, do you have any suggestions for people, for your juniors or fe- people who are not yet placed? Anything that you want to share that you learned from your experience? Yeah, I'd say... Um, Build projects when you get the chance to. Mm -hmm. Just build projects and uh, before going to an interview, you should be uh, thorough with whatever skills you have. And don't mention uh, random skills on your resume. Mm. Just go with what you have Mm. and what you know. And uh, if you've mentioned some project that you've probably forgotten, and I mean, it's natural to uh, forget projects and Mm -hmm. all that. So it's, if you mention something that you've forgotten, then maybe have a look at your GitHub repo or your entire wherever it's stored in your right. local drive. Just have a look at your code and mm-hmm. just go about the entire working once. Hmm. Then maybe you'll uh, you'll be okay with that. And and for juniors, uh, whatever chance you get, make projects, build projects, and uh, learn new skills and. Uh, Right. All of that. Don't run behind a lot of certifications. Just mm. try to learn new skills. That's pretty much what I want to say. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for your experience yeah. and for sharing the suggestions. I'm sure it will be helpful for many people. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. Hi everyone, this is Jishnu and thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe and stay tuned because a lot of interview experiences are coming your way.